Hello everyone, this is Eileen again. How are you today? Today I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, courses relevant to trade, trade occupations and uh, how do those uh, trade occupations get the, v, get the PR after the completion of their courses. All right, I'm going to share my screen with you. Just a moment. I think most of you are quite interested in uh, those trade courses and how you can uh, get the PR after your graduation. I highly recommend those trade courses because as you know, after uh, your completion of your course, uh, it is quite easy for those occupations like um, electrician and uh, plumber and chef to find a job in Australia. And to be honest, their pay is quite good. So uh, instead of paying so much to study the degree courses, uh, actually trade courses has your own benefits as well. So during your courses, during your courses, you can um, like find a job to work as part-time. And the, the, the salary probably uh, can afford your uh, tuitions. Yeah, so it's, that is very good. Uh, but before you start to look at these courses, and uh, if you have already got your uh, skill assessment, or if you have already got like several years work experience in relevant fields. So we will need to talk about what is your occupation or what is your intended uh, occupation. There are lots of occupations in trade fields like automotive electrician or electrician or plumber or chef or cook or pastry cook. They all belong to trade occupations, but they are, they are still different. As you know, um, in Australia, we have several lists. One is medium and long-term strategic skill list called MLT SSL. Another is called uh, STSOL, which is short-term list. And a third one is called ROL, which is regional list. So I would highly recommend those occupations on medium long-term strategic skill list. Why is that? Because if you study the relevant courses in Australia, which is at least two years and highly relevant to your nominated occupation, then you get the chance to apply for the 485, which is graduate work visa. As you know, if you have completed your course, it's not the end yet. So you will need to accumulate at least one year highly relevant work experience before you can get your skill assessment and before you are eligible for the permanent residency application. So if you are new to this field, if you haven't started to um, choose a course, uh, you can consider or you can focus on those occupations, which is on um, MLT SSL. That could be very beneficial for you. Um, so after you have completed your, your courses and uh, uh, then um, there are lots of visa subclasses you can apply. Um, of course, after your completion, the first subclass you need to apply is usually 485, which is a graduate work visa, 1.5 year. That helps you to collect your work experience. And after that, you can get your skill assessment. Then you move to uh, your PR application. So when you apply for the PR, you can consider 189, which is individual uh, skill migration visa, or 190, uh, which is state nomination visa, or uh, 491, I'm sorry, uh, which is regional skewed nomination visa, or 494, which is regional employer sponsored visa, or 482, employer sponsored visa. 
as long as your occupation is on MLT SSL, you have more uh, choices. But if your um, occupation is on SOL uh, list, short term list, uh, it doesn't mean you can't apply for PR. But the, uh, the disadvantage is that if you study the relevant course in Australia, especially um, in uh, the trade field, then uh, you won't be able to apply for the 485 visa, uh, which could be a loss for you. Um, because after your completion of the course, if you don't have that visa to help you uh, to collect the work experience, then how you can get the skill assessment? If you have already worked in this field before in your own country and have worked for several years and have already collected get the uh, skill assessment, that is fine, but still, uh, you don't have enough time to allow you to stay in Australia to prepare for the uh, PR application. The completion of the course doesn't mean you can get the PR. It's just a start. You need to um, get IELTS or get PTE, or you need to uh, collect enough migration points and you need to have enough time to wait for the EOI which is an invitation for you to apply the PR. So after your graduation we need some time. We need some time. Point five visa is the best choice for you. So after that we will need to talk about how you can get uh, the uh, skill assessment. Skill assessment is a basic component for you to apply the permanent residency. Without the skill assessment, uh, we, we can't talk about the PR, mm, which is, this is a basic, basic stage for you. So if you complete the relevant course in Australia, the program you need to apply is called Job Ready Program, which is designed for students who have completed two years relevant courses um, in um, uh, some, um, uh, some vocational field, like a uh, uh, chef, cook, uh, electrician, automotive electrician, like this. Um, that involves four steps. The job ready program involves four steps. Step one is professional skill assessment, uh, which is a, uh, the requirement for the 45 visa. Mm -hmm. Step two is job ready employment. Step three is job ready small placement assessment. Step four is job ready final assessment. Mm -hmm. So if we talk about the step one, professional skill assessment, which is compulsory for the 45 visa, if you want to apply for the graduate work visa, so after your completion of the course, you need to accumulate uh, some documents to apply for the PSA. So you can, uh, so you will be then you will be eligible for the for the visa. The cost for the step one is three hundred dollars. It requires you to have held a student visa and have completed a highly relevant course like cook if you want to apply um, the professional skill assessment as a chef then you need to ha have completed a two years technical course including 1.5 year certificate for in commercial cookery and half year diploma of uh, hospitality management and you have accumulated 360 hours of work placement uh, if it's a paid um, paid employment, then you will have to provide a work reference letter from your employer and pay slips and the bank statement uh, stating the uh, the salary. Uh, if you, if that's uh, like a, just a unpaid work placement, so you will need to provide the logbook and a reference letter from your institute. 
once you have applied for the uh, skill assessment, then you can uh, apply for the 45 visa. After you've applied the 45 visa, and you have already received a successful PSA outcome, then you can proceed to the step two. When you have decided or you have secured an employment which is highly relevant to your nominated occupation, uh, for example, if your nominated occupation is chef, then you need to find a job which is just highly relevant to chef. But it doesn't have to be chef. It can be uh, from chef, Swiss chef, second chef, like series. Once you have secured an employment, then you have to contact the TRA and they will tell you what is your job start date. Uh, please note the job start date is very important for you. Uh, it, it will decide when you can apply or when you can proceed the step three and step four. Okay, once you have, um, once you have got the uh, approval of your employment by TI, and after you have completed 863 hours over a minimum of six months from the JI start date, then TRA will contact you when uh, you can uh, you can proceed to step three, which is actually a test. The continents of the test is just as a basic word continents as usual. As usual, so the test will happen at your uh, workplace uh, with your employer. Yeah. Uh, this uh, this step costs two thousand dollars, which is the most expensive step among the all steps. After you have completed the step three, then we will move to step four, which is um, job ready final assessment. Actually, that's the easiest part. We only costs you uh, one hundred fifty dollars. The requirement for this step is that. You have got your approval of your employment uh, by TI and you have passed the uh, step three and you have already collected 1,725 hours over a minimum of 12 months from the JIE start date. Actually, it's just like another six months after step three. So after you have completed the four steps, then congratulations, you have you are nearly to get the full skill assessment from TRA. Once you get the successful skill assessment from TRA, uh, then we can talk about how uh, which subclass you can apply and how we proceed to PR. Mm, yeah. Yeah, for example, if you are in New South Wales and if you have accumulated the uh, uh, one year work experience uh, in New South Wales regional area, I will highly recommend you to consider New South Wales regional state sponsorship, which is 491 visa. Uh, yeah, although New South Wales also um, has a 190 visa for you to apply, but that is that usually requires you have like high points, high migration points. So uh, if you haven't or you don't have the confidence to get enough uh, high points, at least like 80 points, then I would highly recommend you to consider the 491, 491 visa. All right, so we have talked about the skill assessment. Now we can talk about the relevant trade courses. Uh, the basic requirement for you to qualify the trade course is, is that you have to be at least aged 18 and you have completed your uh, year 12, which is your high school completion. You have gained IS 5.5 or uh, equivalent English test results like PT or CAE. But you, if you don't have, don't worry. Just let us know. We usually can arrange a, an internal placement test for you. That's usually free for you and um, it's much easier than IELTS or PTE. 
if you can successfully pass a test, it's the same. You don't need to study further English courses prior to your course start date. You can just start your um, uh, certificate or diploma courses right away. But if you don't pass the course, if or if you don't have enough English test results, then we will highly recommend you to, or it's compulsory actually, yeah, you have to study um, some English courses prior to your main course start date. Uh, actually, like studying some English courses will be quite helpful for you to expand your network in Australia, uh, make you confident to study in Australia, that is quite beneficial for you as well. So uh, once you start to study your course, uh, the course is usually uh, three, the attendance is usually like, like three days a week. That usually involves two days um, uh, lectures and one day work placement, or sometimes like two days uh, lectures and one day uh, self studies. Uh, to graduate, then you will have to accumulate uh, at least 200 to 360 hours work placement. It can be paid work placement or can be non-paid work placement. It depends on uh, whether you found you sourced your work placement by yourself or the institute sourced the work placement for you. Uh, also, with the range is between like 300 and 360 hours, but it's compulsory for you to accumulate at least 360 hours so that you can apply for the skill assessment. So, just to remember, all those institution uh, can apply, uh, well, can accept at least like uh, 200 for your graduation, but you still need to accumulate at least 360 hours work placement to apply for the skill assessment. So after your completion, after you have done the above things, then you uh, are eligible for the 1.5 year full 85 graduate work visa. You have the full-time work, work rights up to you, uh, applied the visa after, uh, or you have been granted the visa. So let's talk about the relevant courses. Uh, if we are interested in electrician, uh, the standard course is a uh, two years package. It involves uh, certificate three and it involves a certificate four. Uh, you can also consider the air, air conditioning and the refrigeration mechanic. So talking about this occupation, I highly recommend you to consider this occupation. This could be not so popular in your country, but it's very popular in Australia. And it's, uh, it's highly um, demanded in Australia. As you know, some states in Australia Mm, are very humid, like uh, uh, Northern Territory, like uh, Queensland. Uh, they are located in North Australia, and the weather is uh, quite humid. But uh, I know some some of you might very like the weather. I, I like the weather as well. So uh, if you want to uh, live there, then an air conditioner is compulsory in every building. Even in New South Wales or in Victoria, it's, uh, it's well, it's a, it's a necessity. So, uh, which means a relevant mechanic is highly demanded. According to some news, um, probably in the building, there's only one mechanic is in charge. So, which means the, the, uh, uh, their workload is very heavy. So, um, and also you can, and also they get very high pay. So if you can consider this occupation, it could be very beneficial for you. I highly recommend this occupation and the relevant courses. Uh, you can also consider automotive electrician, uh, that's a two year page course as well, involves the certificate three and the certificate four. And also carpenter, it's a certificate three course. Uh, so for carpenter, carpentry course, 
it's not so common in every stage. It's not so common like uh, Cochrane or like early childhood. So if you are considering this course, so please contact us. You can leave a message below our video. Uh, we will uh, send you some information about the relevant course. Uh, there are some states that are offering some relevant courses, but most of them are not offering to inter international students. As for chef, the courses are very common, including 1.5 year certificates for in commercial cookery and a half year of hospitality management. Um, well, this course is actually more suitable for some applicants who have already accumulated some relevant work experience. Uh, so it will be more easier for you to find uh, an occupation relevant to chef or uh, for you to uh, collect the enough work experience. All right, so that's all, that's all for today. Um, if you have any questions about the trade courses or you have already got your skill assessment relevant to TI or relevant to any other occupations, please feel free to contact us and uh, we will reply your message or reply your question as soon as possible. Hopefully we can provide the best solution for you. Thank you.